Now, coming to the, 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 the appointees, if I start with the vice president, Jessica Rupo, first of all, she's a hard worker. And she, she listens to my advice. Because I started with her, I said, you, Arupo, those about us who will not get out of poverty, if you don't solve the issue of enterprise selection. Because they were in the past used to have cows, but also they would grow cotton for the colonial system. Then they, they would buy a bicycle and maybe education and so on. But I asked them, I said, uh, did they have permanent houses? Nobody answered that very well to me. Even now, I, I would like somebody, what was the situation of housing in, in, in Teso, northern Uganda, in the colonial times? Did they have permanent buildings? Did they have brick houses? How many brick houses were there? I didn't see them. Because even if they are destroyed by, by a war, you can see the bricks. That there was a house here which was destroyed by, by war. So I told Arupo, I said, you grow fruits. Start yourself. And we started growing. She, she's a big fruit grower because she listened to my advice. Initially, they were we were eating our fruits. They said fruits are for eating, they are not for commercial. Just come and pick. Uh, then I said, okay, let's make a fence. So, so we have been in, in some resistance with Arupo to, 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 to cause change in Tesla through enterprise selection, through enterprise with the Aymar, with the Chibaro, with the Chura with the uh, Otita. She works for Unity because she was in the Catholic chaplaincy when she was in the parliament the other time. They had a, a Catholic chaplaincy. Then I explained to her, say, don't emphasize too much that Catholicism. Punguza, Punguza Yukitu. Talk about Uganda. And corruption. Her father, her father died in our struggle. Her fa the father of Arupo. She was grown up by a landmine, by the rebels. So some of these cadres, I I noticed them and I. Identify them. But sometimes she likes quarreling. So at one time I said, if you want to fight, there's a solution. I will send you to Somalia so that you fight and you are, the anger stops. Because in Somalia, you have got a very good opportunity to fight. So she will sort that one out, the, the issue of, of quarreling. Because at one time, she was quarreling with, with the Kasuer Mumba. I had to be a mediator and say, please stop, stop. And I was not paid mediation fees. Now we come to our Prime Minister, Nabanja. Nabanja, very committed, hardworking, very, very active mobilizer, anti-corruption, 
because in that parliament you, you have been having the corruption. And, uh, and uh, Nabanja told me long ago she had seen something. She was smelling the rat some there. She came and told me. Then very straightforward. When we were having the by-election in Bunyoro, there were, there were some people where their eyes were not looking straight. Are you looking forward or you are looking? But Nabanja, very, very, very straightforward. But also, you see this, 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 this um, I think you people should take advantage of this NRM. This NRM was, uh, the issue of Bunyoro. Bunyoro has been mishandled for a long time by the British especially by the British. And then some of the political actors, because they, they don't belong to, they don't understand our system here. One of the advantages that you could get from uh, some of us is that we are people of this area. If you go, when I restored the cultural institutions, I thought they would understand the chain link of this area. So I hear some people saying, Uganda was created by the British rubbish. Uganda was here long, long ago. It was not called Uganda, but we were, we were very linked people. At one time after we had one kingdom. From 900 AD to about 1500, it, we were under one kingdom. And it's a chain link. You start in Yamwanza in Tanzania. There are people there called Bajinja and Wakerewe. Near Mwanza. You come to Bukoba, the Bahaya. You come to Karagwe, the Banyambo. Banyankore, Banyoro, Batoro, 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 Banyoro, but they broke away. Buganda here, Busoga, this is Busoga, I was speaking with the, 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 the people who are here, the Waramoji. The Bagwere, Namuyangu. I was surprised when I, I appointed our Minister of State for Munyoro that some Munyoro said that one is not a Munyoro rubbish, then you are not a Munyoro yourself. Now Munyangu is a real Munyoro. Just yes, because you don't know our history. And then the, the chain goes on up to the Samya, Bagisu. Then our Nairobi people came from Sudan. They are Chodis, the Langi and they become part of the system. If you go to the palace of Mutebi here, there's some, something you call Wankach. Wankach. The Baganda say Wankach. They talk, talk about it. Where, where, where did Wankach come from? They, they don't know. But we restored you so that you discover all these linkages. Instead of that, they are just busy with the parochialism, localism. One catch is a rule word. One catch, one catch is a rule word. Omubara, 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 do you have any real rules here or they have also disappeared? 
Rubara, it is a rule word, meaning anthem. So, the linkages of Uganda, I know them, that's why I restored these kingdoms. Because I wanted them to, I, I didn't see them as necessarily a danger if they were, if they were properly used. But now these opportunities are there, just there, looking at localism. So, Nabanja now is now the biggest Munyoro since Kabarega. Then on the other side, you have, uh, you have Congo, our people in Congo, you have the, 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 the Bakonjo, you have the Banyarwanda, the Barundi, all these are part of the chain, part of the chain. 